Hi, this is Devoki, and today for Not My Thesis, I am going to be talking about my transition out of the academic life. I finished my last day of lab work on June 22nd. On the 23rd, my husband and my parents were wonderful and came up and helped me pack and we moved everything down to New York. And then on the 25th, I started my first day as an intern at Scientific American, um, where I've been working on video stuff. Obviously, as someone who started a whole series on our channel about grad school, Grad school in academia has been very, very consuming, and it's definitely consumed my personality, my time, my entire sense of well-being. I don't like doing that really annoying thing where you like brag about how many hours you work and stuff, but like, especially by the end of grad school, I was working a lot, like very, very long hours, many days a week. There were times in grad school where I actively tried to minimize the hour, number of hours I spent in lab, but even still, the lab and the work that you're supposed to be doing it's kind of constantly on your brain it's just sort of a fact of the experience and you know that that carried over into more practical things like it was really hard for me to schedule vacations and weekend trips because i just didn't know what my experiment schedule was going to be like i mean especially this past year where everything was so like felt so important to get done just felt like i was like on this constant deadline all of that is just you know you just all you can do is just get through it, understand that it's going to come to an end, even if at the moment it just feels endless and painful. And now my life is very different. I go to work at nine and I can leave at five. Sometimes I stay later if I wanna finish a bit more. But what's weird is that when I leave work, I don't feel any obligation to be continuing to do it at home or to continue thinking about it. If anything, I'm just so in the habit of it that I sometimes find myself dreaming about some like little Little piece of animation that I'm working on but like otherwise like it's just kind of like cool like I can do what I want this weekend. I am still wrapping up a paper from grad school. I'm also applying for some other opportunities for when this internship is over so like I'm still doing work in the mornings and evenings like outside of my actual work day but otherwise there's just so much less pressure to constantly be thinking about I don't know, just working overall. My first week or so, it was actually kind of disorienting uh, because I'm so used to using work as an anchor for everything. Like just so much of my life has revolved around my work that being in like a new city with a new workspace and around new people, it was a little strange to just be like, oh, I guess my schedule is up to me now. I don't like have to worry about whether or not my experiment is now going to be pushed back into the weekend and I'm suddenly going to not be able to go on this trip to visit my husband that I wanted to go on or just things like that like where my entire life is revolving around the schedules of the cells that I'm working with and like the timeline of those experiments. But obviously that's also a huge relief and now I'm starting to get a little bit more used to it and I'm starting to get a little bit more used to the idea of like setting my own boundaries and times and just like establishing what my own goals are for the day without having it be like graduate. And I'm also having a lot of fun with this internship. I'm getting to look at science, I'm getting to learn a lot of things that I've been wanting to learn and I'm also really getting to look at science from the other side in a way that it's so exciting. Every morning I get an email with a list of like press releases for exciting new science results and it's really cool because it's made me realize how narrow my view of science has become since over my time uh, at grad school. My view of science around grad school was very much you know self-centered. It's around what I was working on. I didn't really look too far out of my field. I, I had sort of a narrow range of science that I was looking at. And now I have the time and also kind of the obligation to read about science from so many different fields. Like I read a paper about dolphin diving body mechanics, which is not something that I didn't even knew that people were researching, even though of course, duh, someone's doing that because that sounds amazing. And I feel like I get to learn so much more science than I did in grad school, which is a really weird thing to say, but it's definitely true. What I learned in grad school was huge. I like I got so much out of it, but like like I have a lot of knowledge about a very specific range of things. And now I'm getting to like explore science kind of from the bigger picture view that I've always been looking for. I've been learning a lot of just basic skills that I've been needing overall. I've been learning more about, I've been learning how to use After Effects to make animations. I've learned more about how to use Premiere Pro. I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos for this channel, which is kind of overkill from what I'm doing here, but I did it because I wanted to learn it in case I was like pursuing this kind of job basically. Um, so I'm glad because I had 
So I'm glad because I had sort of that preliminary basic experience, but what I've learned from this internship is that there were a lot about things about Premiere I didn't know. But one of the things that I'm like most realizing now, kind of like a month and a half into this internship, is just how much I got out of my PhD. I think I've always been like aware that I've been getting a lot out of my PhD that's not just about the research, but actually seeing in practice kind of how much different I am now that I'm post PhD than how I was when I started um, has just been reinforcing just how much like how much my PhD has helped me become more confident um, about pursuing things that I don't like that I'm so new to. I feel like I'm better at this internship now than I would have been seven years ago when I was just starting my PhD. And obviously a part of that is just getting older and getting to be a little bit more mature and a little bit more focused about what it is I want out of things. But I think another aspect to it is something that a lot of people say about the PhD which is that grad school, your PhD in particular, it's where you learn how to learn. And a lot of that is just based around what research is. Like obviously we've all been to school, we've all had to learn things, but when we took classes growing up, you know, when we took a test, those tests, those questions, they have answers. With research, it's not always clear that you're going to get an answer. And when you get your research project, when you start your PhD, you don't know that it's actually going to go anywhere. Research doesn't have clear answers and a big part of doing it, of just doing research, is just figuring out how to make mistakes at it. And it took me a while to learn that in grad school. When I started it was extremely uncomfortable for me. I wanted my advisor to have all of the answers, I wanted all of my experiments to work immediately, I wanted clear instructions on how to like set up and do this whole project and that's not how research works. And and every year that we would get new students, I've seen that process repeat. I think it's actually a, a process that almost every grad student I've seen has had to go through, even if they have research experience from undergrad. Because doing research in the lab and actually setting up and like, you know, planning out a project and actually like fully pursuing it, it, those two, there's a huge step between doing those two things. And that's really what my PhD gave me is learning how to set up that whole research project. Like doing the project that I did in my PhD, if I were gonna start completely from scratch now and all I had was like the experience of doing a PhD without actually knowing how to do my project, I think I would be way faster at doing it now than when I had started. And it's just because of the nature of learning how to learn, learning how to make mistakes at something, learning how to make the right kind of mistakes that you can actually learn from. These were things that were really hard for me to adjust to in my first and second year of grad school. They made it academically and emotionally tough for me and I see a lot of those same challenges now in my internship where obviously like the nature of what I'm doing day to day is super different but just the fundamental like task of envisioning a thing and making it happen without completely knowing what you're doing that would have been way harder for me to do a whole bunch of years ago. So I'm really glad I got that experience because it's made doing this transition a little bit easier and it's making it a little bit more productive for me. Obviously there's a few months for me to like crash and burn at this internship, but I just wanted to say this because there has been this conversation around what like P what a PhD training should look like in a world where a lot of people aren't going into academia. And I think the most fundamental thing, the most basic thing that I got out of my PhD was this aspect of it, of learning learning how to start and finish a project and learning how to bear with not knowing how to do everything right away. I think for a lot of PhDs who are considering leaving academia, one of the fears is that you might have wasted your PhD, you might have wasted that time. Maybe I'll get to a point where I feel that, but I don't feel that right now because I really feel like everything I've learned in my PhD that is really important, I've had to use immediately. Like, sure, I'm not engineering T-cells to fight cancer every day, but like that's not actually the core of what I was doing in my PhD. The core of what I was doing was learning how to work with myself and other people to make a project a reality. And those are skills that you don't stop using when you've graduated. And obviously you don't have to be a BA PhD to get these skills, like it's not like that is the only place to learn how to do it. The challenges are the same whether you're building a project in an academic setting or anywhere else, like th those ideas come up all over the place. It's why it's something that I'm experiencing now in my internship. This is more about saying that if you're in the middle of your PhD and you're worried about whether or not you're getting anything out of it, I think you probably are. I think you're probably getting more out of it than you possibly will know until after you're done. And that's just one of the challenges of grad school is that you don't know what the value of it is until after you've finished it. So 
I don't know if that's gonna be true for everyone, but I hope it is, so yeah. Like I said, it's been a lot of fun to learn um, a lot of the skills that I've been learning, so I'm really excited to see where, where I'll go next um, in this internship and after it, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and bye.